and in business to use the Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Mr. Dele Alake, and his counterpart in the Ministry of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wale Edu, have appealed to Nigerians to give the current administration sufficient time to address the economic challenges facing the country. The minister has made this known at the World Press Conference, which held earlier today in Abuja. We must collectively as a society change the course of our destiny. But until last year, nobody, nobody in authority had the guts to take those painful, necessary, bold decisions until this government came into, into place. And then the issue of subsidy, which was removed, some say with a fiat. If that wasn't removed with a fiat, if we had gone into the usual debates and all that, till now we'll still be embroiled in the debates and no decision will be taken and the nation will be torturing on collapse. Nigerians must decide whether we need to go on and make progress and let the necessary bold policies, albeit painful in some aspects, whether we should let those policies grow into maturity. We have come from a situation where the nation was living on debt. Every time there was a bill to be paid, it was not paid from revenue, it was not paid from investment funding, but it had to be paid from debt, particularly from the central bank, and of course, that was not sustainable. That is no longer the case. The revenue of Nigeria, as a result of diligent application of technology and new processes, to federal government expenditure in, uh, um, revenue, including that of the revenue earning ministries, departments, and agencies, as well as federal government owned enterprises, has doubled. Compared to the first half of 2023, the 2024 revenue of the federal government has doubled and is expected to maintain that trajectory